Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Theodora Mekunye and I have been away from YouTube for one full year. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> guys, um, I feel like an introduction is necessary, so I'm just going to introduce myself. My name is Theodora Mekunye. I am a Nigerian immigrant who migrated to Calgary, Alberta in 2022. I live here with my family. I am a mom of three children and this is my YouTube channel. So for all the new subscribers who joined in my absence, you're so welcome. And I cannot wait um, to get acquainted with you all, you know. Yeah, so guys. It's been a long time away from this space, yes. It's been a long time. I officially stopped filming in December 2022. No, I stopped fil yeah, I stopped filming in December 2022 and I'm just here to tell you why and to tell you that I'm back. So, it's been like a really long journey and first of all I want to start by saying thank you thank you to all of you who reached out to me like I was overwhelmed with the love with the messages I was able to welcome a lot of M M Nigerians to Calgary this year um, if you know that you reached out to me when you landed in Calgary to say, oh, I'm in Calgary, I'm in your city, shout out to you, you know yourselves, if you're watching this video, I was able to welcome so many immigrants to Calgary. I know I wasn't able to see them personally, but I was with you through your whole process, you're settling down, asking questions, what do you need, I need to get a house and all of that. I was able to just, you know, help a lot of people this year settle down. I am so grateful for that. Hopefully in this new year, 2024, I will be available to see all of you. I mean, most of the people that I welcomed, I'll be able to see you guys this, this 2024. And I hope you're finding Calgary <laughs> to your taste. So welcome back, guys. Um, thank you for all the messages you sent. I could feel the love. Like, all the messages I got. Like, initially, I had people leaving messages on my YouTube channel. Like, where have you been? Where are you? You've not been posting. What's happening? And then all of a sudden, it seemed like everyone was coming to my Instagram because I was, I think, I was kind of more present on Instagram for a while. There was a time I wasn't even present anywhere on any social media platform. And then there was a time that I actually actively started trying to make an effort to at least be present on Instagram. So I would have people reach out to me on Instagram, you know, tell me about their experiences in Calgary. Even people that didn't come to Calgary. I had people who didn't were not even in Calgary, people who just migrated to Canada, who just wanted to touch base with me and to just say, I'm in town, I'm in I'm in Canada, this is what I these are my challenges, this is what I'm going through. I think I tried, even though I had my own personal challenges, I think I tried to at least try and be there for everybody, even though it wasn't possible to answer all the questions I got. Some questions were just too much for me, but at least I tried to my ex to the extent that I could to answer, you know, I had a lot of messages, I had a lot of mails, and it's not like that was a bad thing, but I, it was overwhelming. And you guys, your messages to me in concern about where I've been, if I'm okay, people even send me prayers. You know, every time I wake up in the morning and I see a message, from a subscriber who's just worried about where I've been. My heart was always on YouTube, like my YouTube family first. My heart was always here. I wanted to come back. I wanted to, you know, create videos for you. I wanted to be in this space where I could interact with all of you once again. But I pride myself on being someone who multitasks. But you see, 2023 
I could not. It was a lot for me. I just couldn't. Everything social media, everything online presence just had to give because I took up something that was much more for me it was a priority i had spoken about it a lot in my videos i i know i used to just always say it in passing i never really spoke about it but i always used to talk about it and it was finally time it was time for me to put in the work for what i had always wanted what i had always prayed about but i couldn't do it and also be here i don't know how people who you know have to go to school or have to do a program or any of that i don't know how they manage and still show up here i just couldn't multitask in that way i just felt like if i had any extra time i wanted to spend it on self-care and i wanted to spend it on my kids and that was exactly what i did so thank you for reaching out thank you for your messages thank you for all the love Thank you for the prayers and yes i'm finally back so you guys don't have to be you know sending me messages like where have you been where are you did you stop vlogging i didn't stop vlogging i was vlogging even in my sleep i'm just kidding <laughs> i wasn't but i was always here in my mind like i was always here you know i wasn't vlogging because there wasn't anything really happening that i could vlog about but at some point in September, I decided to start slowly trying to vlog again. And you're going to see, you know, clips from what I've been up to, clips from what I've been doing much later on as we go along this journey. Um, I'm officially back to YouTube. And I feel rusty. It's, it's, I feel kind of rusty. So it's going to take me a while. I've been filming videos that i'm not happy about sometimes i'll film i don't like the quality i will delete it and all of that so that just happens because it's been a long time that i've been here i have to familiarize myself once again with my equipment and my space my lighting and all of that but slowly slowly we're making progress okay so you guys can if you're seeing this video then i'm back maybe not 100 percent back but trust me i am back and i am working my way up to be consistent here on youtube once again and i have a lot to share with you guys uh, this is like two years of me being in calgary it's been a lot i have had moments of tears <laughs> i have had moments of extreme joy i've had moments where i knew for sure that god was with me my family has been fine my kids have been thriving we all have been doing okay you know you know and as to the reason why i've been away from youtube i've just been i know i used to always you know allude to the fact that i had professional exams to write because i did not want to stay stuck okay and i had a plan when i came here right you must always have a plan i had a plan and at some point it was time you know i it, it, like i went into my plan kicking and screaming because i knew that it wasn't going to be easy for me i was going to have to give up some things to fight for what i wanted and um what i actually wanted was to just be able to have a career have a job that i can be happy with i didn't want to keep doing like a mid a, a min, minimum job i didn't start out with a career job i started out with anything when i came here i know most of you asked about the job and I, i've never really spoken about what i actually was doing when i landed i'm going to actually talk about that in another video but what I was doing was not what I wanted to do forever. And I had this plan when I came here that, okay, I'm going to write exams. I know I used to say that, you know. Funny enough, I met a subscriber at an African store. Shout out to you if you're watching this. I can't remember her name. But she recognized me. And when she saw me, she was like, Theodora, you've not been on YouTube. You've not been vlogging. What's going on? 
and I was like, and then before I could even answer her, she was like, are you writing exams? Are you, are you writing exams? Because you always used to say it on your channel that you're writing. I said, I was like, yes. So basically I had this plan that I was going to um, upscale. I was going to try to professionally improve myself, right? I was going to write exams. I was going to um, take up some courses. I was going to do a couple of programs. So I had a whole plan for the year 2023 and none of them were involved anything that was a joke. <laughs> it involved hours of study, hours of me spending in class, listening to lectures and I have just it has just been on a roll like and I started this in February and I'm I, I was just on this roll I got admitted into a program and I was doing this program for quite a while and I had to write professional exams and these two things are not even related okay they are separate things so I had to write professional exams and to write these professional exams I had to study for about eight months so I was studying for about six months six seven months to prepare for these professional exams and after I finished my professional exams I started a program and I was doing this program from September and it's actually been a lot so I've not been here because I've just basically been investing in myself and I've been studying and whatever free time that I had was for my children and for myself YouTube could never have been a part of it because I didn't even have enough time for my kids or for myself or to even study as much as I wanted to YouTube was not even in the mix like I could not imagine involving YouTube because I knew that it would be a mess I couldn't promise to be here and you know the funny part was that I didn't have a timeline to any of these things that I wanted to do because I'd never done them before so I couldn't actually come out and say oh I'm going to be away for a year I'm going to be away for three months I didn't know how long I was going to be away for I just knew that this is what I have to do now and I have to invest my time into what I have to do now and only God knows how long it's going to take but I am on a progress I'm on a mission to try to get myself you know where I want to be and it's an ongoing process it's still a process like even till now it's still a process and um, I couldn't come out and put up a, a message or I'll make a video and be like I'll be away because I didn't even know how long I would be away for right I just felt like okay I just need to do this and I don't think I can do YouTube while doing this but I'm not gonna say anything now I'm just gonna start out first and then see what it's like and then maybe have an idea but the more I started or when I started I realized that this is gonna be a long it's gonna be a long journey and I don't know if I can come out here and just say I'm going to be away because people will just feel like oh she's not coming back because I already even had people who send me messages and were like why did you stop vlogging I didn't stop vlogging I just took some time out to invest in my goals you know I, I, I never had this plan where I, I didn't think I was coming back I knew I was going to come back I just didn't know when and I just didn't know how long I'll be away for so it was just difficult for me to put a time frame on how long I'll be away you know I really truly didn't miss this space you know you guys had become my family you had become <laughs> my safe space you had become people that I you know talk to every now and then people that I look forward to your comments and your likes you know so I just didn't know how to break the news of me being away so I think I just quietly just you know went and did my thing and then at some point I sent them I put up a, a video saying that I was going to be away and I didn't know when I'll be back and but I'll be back you know and all of that so I'm back now 
I really, 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 really cannot believe that in the one year that I've been away, the channel has grown so much. We're almost approaching 6K subscribers, guys. When I started this channel, I just hoped for the best and I wanted the channel to grow, yes, but I'm amazed, you know. Even when I wasn't even putting up content, I used to see new subscribers every day and I'd be like, wow, wow. I even still see that people still watch my old videos and everything and people I had so many messages from people who found my videos so helpful to help them settle down and a lot of my subscribers that I welcomed into Calgary were like your videos didn't really show what we went through here like I know you tried to a certain extent to let us know how things were here but you didn't really show like people who had accommodation issues people who were trying to find housing people who were trying to find a daycare for their kids people who just had a hard time finding a job and were like you didn't really show the, the truth is that i was just trying to live my life you know and i as much as i didn't show i don't think you can really convey everything in a video I can try to show you how we didn't get a, ha a house on time and we had to move to another Airbnb and we had to move to another Airbnb and all of those things I showed but you will not really understand that I didn't have a car for like six to seven months and I had to walk literally everywhere with my kids. It was a lot. I had to walk to work, I had to walk to grocery stores sometimes and back from grocery stores. And all those things tell on you, right? Over time, they tell on you, they tell on your health and all of that. I was losing weight. I don't think maybe people really didn't notice or maybe people noticed, but I was losing weight and it just took a while. So most of those videos were things that happened in like two, three months. But when you're watching the video, it just looked like it happened in a week, right? Because I cannot really, I can't really put in everything into words or try to express to you in a 20 minute clip exactly what i was facing or what i was going through but it is challenging as a new immigrant from nigeria coming to canada with family living your whole life behind and coming in here with just 10 boxes and you're starting life afresh don't let anybody make you feel like it's very easy it is not easy and i feel like a lot of people get distracted with um the initial trying to find a house, trying those are yes, those are major challenges that you might have, but those are just that's just one point of it, okay? That's just one part of it. There are other things that will test you when you come here, depending on what goals you have set for yourself. I I'm going to film a video, or I, by the time this video is up, I'm sure I must, I must have already filmed that video talking about my one year or my experience so far as a new immigrant in Canada. I'm going to talk about my experience and I'm also going to talk about, and I'm also going to have another video talking about the things I like about Canada and the things that are still challenging for me that I deal with and I feel like people would benefit a lot from those videos so you're benefiting from my experience and you're benefiting from the struggles that i've had to go through i don't think that i haven't had struggles as a new immigrant i have you know um i would try to relate this in another video so that people can watch but this video is just to let you know that i'm back and to let you know that I see all of you and I'm so grateful for all your messages that you sent to me and thank you for everyone who checked on me and um, happy new year guys yes we're in 2024 this video should be going up anytime in February but I'm actually filming this video in December and that's just something I like to do. I like to gather my content ahead of time and just prepare. So I have been gathering content over the months, but I knew that I would not officially be back to YouTube until 2024. So you're watching this video now, but it was actually filmed in December and that's why my Christmas tree and decorations are still up and all of that. 
so consistency we're going to strive for that in 2024 we're going to try to be more consistent we're going to try to be here and i'm going to take you through the last one year and try to fill you in in things that have happened that you have missed out on um, my kids want to say happy new year and merry christmas to you guys because they haven't had an opportunity to and i promised them that at some point in this video i'm going to bring them in so that they can say happy new year and merry christmas to you guys because they have also missed seeing themselves on the screen they've missed you know reading messages from you guys i remember when i put up a, a picture of eliana on instagram everybody was like oh my god she's so grown and that's because in 2022 even while i was filming in december it was eliana's birthday but i never even got around to putting up that video because she was so ill you know Winters have a way of affecting the kids here because there's a lot of virus in the air, so many diseases and all of that happening. And I feel like Eliana is kind of prone to it, maybe because she's still attending daycare and kindergarten. I don't really see that happening with my older kids, but I notice it a lot with Eliana. Once it's the winter period, she's the one who falls um, ill the most and i tend to be affected most times because i have to care for her and in trying to care for her i tend to actually pick up whatever she has and it, it was the same thing this winter guys the winter in calgary of 2023 is amazing the like there's no snow ever since we got into winter i think i've just seen the snow like maybe four five four times or five times and even then it doesn't even snow that much it's just a trickle like it just just before i even wake up in the morning it's all gone before i go out and start my day like the snow is already um, melting because it wasn't that thick and it's not been that cold when i remember how my last winter was in 2022 when i came here it was a lot i experienced temperatures i think i even have videos of that on my channel where i was like oh my god it's minus 45 or oh my god it's minus 60. this year i haven't experienced anything that has even been up to minus 20 or minus 25. the weather has just been amazing and even though it's just it's just january i'm hoping that um it's just going to continue like this you know god has just been so faithful to us here in calgary for um winter we've not had a bad winter it's been amazing this year but for now let me just call my kids and let's just wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year all right two ready go happy, happy new, new year, year. <laughs> guys so this is my tribe we're just here to say happy new year and we've all missed you guys you guys have missed everybody right yeah. mm -hmm. right right you guys have missed everybody yeah, yeah. yeah. so we're back in 2024 and we're wishing you a wonderful new year we hope that um all your dreams and your plans for 2024 will come true amen. and Let come to pass in jesus name amen. amen so thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't all right take care and bye, bye. <laughs>